Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2024 Boys of Summer Baseball by Panini. Two box, pick your team number six. We're only two boxes into a fresh case. We opened two last night. We're going to open another two tonight. We'll select between the remaining six. Big thanks to this group for making it happen here on a Thursday. Your Thursday, my Friday. But hey, whatever day it is, a good day to break. Gavin with that last spot mojo. And Ben, the beneficiary of an extra team. I said if someone gets the gets the Mariners, we'll give them the $10 Marlins. Ben took us up on that. Thanks. I don't think Boys of Summer has a traditional, like, case hit in it. There may be some shorter printed stuff, but not a traditional case hit. So, with the dice, one, two, three, four, five, six. Three. One, two, three, four. So we're going to do the middle two boxes right here. Three autographs, one memorabilia card per box on average. Speaking of Lasorda, who do I put as my top five managers, baseball managers of all time? Wow. It's a tough one. Joe Torrey's gotta be up there. Connie Mack's gotta be up there. That's two. Jim Leland, that's three. Bobby Cox. Did I say Bobby Cox? Bobby Cox of the Braves. And, uh... And I guess... I guess Bochi. Bruce Bochi won a bunch of World Series. Yeah, I guess Sparky's got to be up there. Yeah, I guess La Russa, although the, his more recent recent managing of the White Sox was not very impressive. That might have... Recency bias may have tainted his memory for, for me. Earl Weaver, yeah, that's a good one. It's Jace Young to 149, 28 out of 149. Josh's brother right here. This is going to go to Detroit. It's for Alan. Jay Buhner. 109 out of 275. Jay Buhner may be top five goatees in Major League Baseball. Although I don't think it shows here. Didn't he have a big goatee? This will be for the Mariners. It's going to go to Ben. There's Brock Porter, 34 out of 149, Brock Porter House Steak. Two sixty eight out of two seventy five, Chipper Jones, Jeff with the Braves. Yeah, Zimmer was a solid manager. I don't know if he ever put up the numbers, but he managed in the bait in baseball for a long time for a reason. Here's Elijah Green for Walter and the Nats. Big jersey right there, 34 out of 49. Look at this. T Thomas, all you got to do is win a Super Bowl, and all of a sudden Matthew Stafford's in, in, in mattress commercials, and he's in, like, I saw him in, like, life insurance commercials, and, you know. All you got to do, like do now is just win a, just be, just be a Super Bowl winning quarterback. And all of a sudden the ad, ad money starts rolling in. Oh. Yeah, the, the base cards do have, like, a sort of... You can, Kind of hard to tell in the camera maybe, but you can see sort of an acetate top on it. So the back, like the main part of the card is your standard kind of thick cardboard, right? But you can see there's like a, another layer right up there. So that's more of an acetate layer on the top of the base cards. So it gives that glossy look on the front. 
The I think the hits are not built that way. Yeah, I think the hits are just a normal top right here. 23 out of 49 on Dustin Harris. Rangers, Kevin with the Rangers. Twenty-three out of forty-nine. There's Zach Deloche. One twenty-seven out of one forty-nine. Eric says reminds him. I, I don't remember Joy of Baseball. People have to see it. Here's an American Glory autograph for Walter and the White Sox. And then we got Dylan Cruz. Nice. 18 out of 49. Walter Summers with the Dylan Cruz autograph. Nice. What player today that may be close to retirement in the next five, ten, next team becoming the next coach? I I really don't know. I don't. I don't think players really want to. Active players don't really want to talk about retirement. <laughs> and then you'd have to really be be kind of too, plugged into like individual team, like local radio and stuff to really get a sense of who might be. But. Only because I've heard other other Dodgers talk about it. Yeah, I think Justin Turner is a uh, is probably in line to be go down the manager track. I know Miguel Rojas, who's on the Dodgers, is definitely he's actually one of the few people I've I've actually heard him say, "Hey, I want to coach. I want to be coaching after I'm done." Here's Bryce Eldridge to two seventy five. 38 out of 275, so. Justin Turner, I feel like, could be or should be. Has he actually expressed interest? Maybe I have heard that. Miguel Rojas recently, I've definitely heard. Here's Mark McGuire, 75 out of 149. For the A's, that's going to be for Gavin. Hey, Miguel Rojas is originally from Venezuela, but I think he, I want to say, you'll have to fact check me on this, but I'll, I want to say that him at an early stage in his career, which actually started with the Dodgers, in an early stage of his career, he said that he, um, that he wanted to work on his English and get better at that throughout his career because he wanted to want to eventually coach. So Randy Johnson, 239 out of 275. Correct, yeah. Great players don't necessarily mean great managers. Well, even before Rhino, Magic Johnson trying to coach the Lakers is a good example. Rhino, a more recent example. Yeah, a lot of people just think, hey, former player, let's give him a shot. There's Joey Loperfito, 137 out of 149. <laughs> yeah, backup catchers end up being good managers, right? That's for uh, Loperfito's for Houston, that's for Darren. These should be your hits. We got a Jackson Churio. Ooh, nice patch. 10 out of 10. That's a good looking patch right there. Who's got the Brewers? DMAC, Darren McKenzie. That's right, yeah. I guess Boach is a former catcher. Bob Boone, David Ross, Mike Sosha, yeah. 
Depot Park to see if Philly's firepower could hold up in Miami as seen on Prime. There you go, Darren. Nice hit. All right, a few more here. We got Cole Young for Seattle. Ben with the Mariners. That was a late pickup, too. 110 out of 149. Gavin Tink, Garrett Stubbs is too much of a party animal to become a manager. Had Garrett Stubbs mentioned he wanted to be a manager? Nice Cole Young. A couple more here. We've got Josh Noth. Another nice patch. Three-color patch. An autograph for the Brew Crew. That's going to be 18 out of 49. And the last one here is for the Rockies. That's uh, 80 out of 99. 80 out of 99. Two-color jersey and autograph. That's Chase Delander or Dolander. Or Delander. There's a little bit of a marking right there. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's just, it's just some fuzz that I wiped off there. And that's Alan Murdoch and the Rockies. And that's that, ladies and gentlemen. Quick little two-box break. Panini Boys of Summer, debut edition, eight cards a box, four hits a box. Some good looking stuff here. I guess we've not seen any of these autograph cards that are on wood, leather, and baseball material. So maybe the next two boxes, let's look for those. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time for the next one. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Bye bye.